Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Yugoslavia in Hearts of Oak. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So we're invading uh, Turkey at the moment. The British try landing a pretty strong invasion fleet into our territory, which we were able to successfully fight off. Okay, we've got some German troops helping us out in this advance. Yeah, the Soviets actually sent a bunch of tank divisions over here, which of course is not excellent for us. Of course, we have these guys over here ready to defend our coastline from another naval invasion. Fr uh, Italy's not joining the war quite yet. Uh, they do have, they've sent volunteers to all of us. But they haven't quite uh, gone that extra step. It also looks like Australia's actually sent troops down here as well. There we go. So we've done another naval invasion, or another push. Will we be able to push out the Soviet tank? The answer to that question looks like it's going to be no. So, all of you hold position. Regather to where you need to be. You keep going this direction. Uh, we also still need more radios. 72 days. Where's night vision here? It's all the way over there. Maybe I should have saved my 1,000% research bonus for something a little bit better. I'm guessing I don't get another one of those. Like, if I had saved it and gotten, like, the 1942 rifle, like, right away, you know how good that would have been for us? Or gotten, like, night vision goggles in, like, 1941? HP goes up. Well, okay, well, okay, I guess which one of these is better? Heart attack, piercing, garrison. It's probably you. Like, you are a 1942 tech. So, your defensive breakthrough. Your assault attack and HP. You are recovery, HP, and better terrain modifiers. Heart attack and piercing. And your defense. You know what? Probably, probably heart attack and piercing, if I had to take a guess. Because we have to pick one of these. Like, we can't skip over the... The, th the, uh, the bonus we have. Yeah, like we're like two years ahead of time. You know what? Let's just research that. It looks like they're actually still using these tanks to help us. Why is Romania always also pulling her troops back? I need my help. I need help, please. I understand that you also have your own issues to deal with, but still. Which of these troops are actually mine? Are any of your one division of mine? Your one division of mine. So you know what? All these troops are Romanian. I'm just going to throw you into a new army just so I know who's who. Uh, we can make them red. That's fine. Just so I at least know where they are. Yeah, I guess you don't do anything right now. I mean, this is definitely not 11 provinces thick. Yeah, I mean, that, that should be more or less kind of okay. I mean, we do still have some allies. Once Germany defeats France, they should probably put, like, a lot of effort into defeating Turkey. I mean, it's also Greece. Greece will also join the war on the ally side as well, which is, of course, uh, a threat to us. Yeah, let's defend our coastline for now. At least until Italy or something's involved and they have a easier target to fight. I mean, I'm actually, I'm probably an easier target than the Italians, but still. So we need more rubber. We'll get that from Germany. We'll get, we need more steel. We'll get that from Germany. And you more, more or less have everything... Uh, covered. Apparently our supplies bad over here. Yes, slightly. We got some Hungarian troops helping us out as well, which is quite nice. 
I don't know, like, what's this? Oh, that just changes what it looks like up here. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about that too much. Yeah, so the French have a lot of troops up here. When? It's 1941. No, it's 1940. It's like May of 1941 when they attack into the, the Benelux countries. But again, I think basically everything is just on the standard timer. Or like, you know, historical events. It would have been so nice if they just let me keep all their soldiers. It would have been so, so much better than anything else that's happening right now. So all of red... Not you. All of red. Delete this plan. Frontline here. And I'm just going to suicide you onto the Soviet tanks. I know that probably is not like a great idea. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. That's a stupid... That's a stupid thing to do. I'm going to throw you onto the border with Greece for now. Just so we can at least have more supplies over here for troops that are actually going to stay. And not get attrition to death. It's 1940. Let's get better research speed so we get some better decryption. Yeah, okay. So they've left now. Germany's trying to push into here. There's like so many allied troops in this region. I mean, they, I mean, they are part of the allies. That's not a huge surprise. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have to do with the United States at some point as well. And Japan, if you could just join our faction as well in the future, that would be so, so nice. So even though Turkey, you know, they still have like 68 divisions, they are now just in the Allies, and the Allies have a large amount of troops. They basically put like their entire army down here. So this is the main front line of the war right now, which is a bit surprising. I mean, they shouldn't be able to break through here, I don't think. I mean, there's still some more exposed uh, coastline on this direction, but I think the AI will always basically target what's closer. Yeah, there's basically like, no supplies over here. That's our bottleneck, I guess. So I'm going to, like, drastically crank up into our uh, infrastructure in, this re in these regions. I'm just going to throw those straight to the top of the list. Even though it would be nice to get some more factories, these do build, you know, they are cheaper. And if we can actually get supplies and not just suffer from attrition, that would also be quite nice. But I don't want to abandon this area and let the AI just deal with it, because I don't trust them to really hold out very well. Because it would be nice to kind of uh, push into Greece here. I mean, Italy's also going to try to attack into Greece at some point. Uh, does anybody have the historical data when that happens? Because I don't know it off the top of my head. Collapse of the Popular Front. So, yeah, I guess I just joined the Allies a little bit earlier, but... 21 days to invade them. But I'm just going to let the AI deal with the events, you know, at their own pace. Not worry about it too much. Can Iraq join us? Saudi Arabia? Iran? I mean, it'd be nice if Iran could join us. You know, let's create basically a second front. How many troops do you have, Iraq? You have two divisions. Iran has like 50, which is, you know, quite a bit. And you can see the Japanese have pushed their way through. Like, they are winning the war in China. Which is good, because, you know, Japan will help us at some point. Another naval invasion. Oh, the, they did attack the one place that they weren't def we weren't defending. Ah, shit. Uh, not a front line, please. They did it. The AI did it. The one thing I didn't expect them to really do was actually, uh, successfully attack us in that region. So we got motorized, the tank division, infantry division, all pushing their way through.
you three are now going to be on this front line. Germany, if you could send troops down here in Yugoslavia. You know, I understand that, you know, you might be a little bit annoyed that, um... I haven't been doing so well in the defense. We're actually going to wait until I have this done until I can research the next level of land doctrine. Okay, Germany, yeah, you send your tanks over here, please. I would love some tank support. Yeah, my organization is actually getting quite low here, so... I'm actually just going to ban Turkey, even though I started this war. Or I started this front line. The supplies are just getting a little bit too bad for us. So we're just going to plan some sort of Greek offensive, because I know that's going to be happening at some point. You guys can you guys can defend down here, right? I think so. Spain, it would be really nice if you would join the war, but I don't think you're going to. So in about a week, in about a week, we can uh, start the next research. Again, Britain's landing a lot of troops here. They've lost almost a million men already, but I guess half of that is Poland. Which is understandable, given the circumstances. Yes, yeah, so if you can just push into there, that's going to be like... Again, just more British troops dying? That's what? That's, that, this is uh, like a solid 10 divisions right here. And actually, neither of these are poor provinces. So they actually have like no supplies right now. I see none, no, none of these three provinces are port provinces, so they actually had no way of supplying themselves once they actually landed. Which is incredible. We're just going to delete this front line. Thank you, Germany, again for helping me out. I needed it a lot. Collapse of the popular front. More overrunning, which gives us another 400,000 men dead and uh, by the British. Turkey's already lost 5,000 and already like halfway to capitulation. Okay, now I have two more days. Why are they doing like these weird problems? Like, why are you doing these weird maneuvers? Um. Yeah, one day, army maneuvers is done. I mean, actually, that only saves us 50 days. We'll do it anyways. So that'll be ready in 109 days. Not too bad for a... Uh, doctrine. Bonus for artillery, bonus for tank. Well, what artillery would we be able to research? Like, right, because it's almost like an instant research. Um... The anti-tank gun, anti-air machine gun. I mean, we probably do want these in our armies. I mean, it allows us to research this almost instantly. We don't even have any regular artillery in our army. We only have, like, the pack artillery. Which isn't actually, like, that great. So the artillery you want, I'm kind of met on. Infantry trucks, mountain, brig mountain technologies... Okay, which one are we doing? Are we doing defense or are we doing offensive in our doctrines? This is a grand battle plan. That sounds to me like an offensive one. No, okay, grand battle plan apparently is on the defensive. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that assessment. Artillery cost going down, though, would be also really nice. Um, Air Force... Play Macedonia and an extra 1% recruit population. Let's just go for uh, the defense here. Okay, so now at least our entirety of our coastline is defended. Well, mostly. I mean, we don't have uh, control of this area right here, but... We can't really do much about that at this exact moment. Yeah, we are losing convoys. It's not a huge surprise. Given the circumstances of things. I mean, we've captured some anti-tank and anti-machine guns, but... Anti-machine guns, anti-air. Uh, 71 days. So, we are... We're getting back on track. Our troops are actually training up, so we're actually going to get, like, another 8 divisions here. Um, not a cavalry. Let's uh, train up some more um, mountaineering divisions as well. 
And then also train up a, um, a motorized division. Um, like an anti-air. I don't even know if I have anybody anti-air actually in this, but back in the forest. So we're not gonna be doing well in forest or marsh in these, but I guess that is because they are vehicles, which isn't a huge surprise. Amphibious invasions would be bad. Attacking the jungle would be bad. We're not gonna be really dealing with jungles at all right now. We can't actually train more troops, so let's get rid of like three of these guys. How much, much manpower? You need 10,000 manpower? Okay, delete all these mountaineering divisions just so I can train up a handful of you. Uh, we're not making anti artillery or anti air machine guns. That is fair. We don't even have any type of air machine gun research, so that is going to be our next target for that. But I'm sure anti-air is probably important. Probably. So, right now, we'll probably need a lot of equipment once again. Yeah, like 8,000, but, you know, it's only like a year. Raid equipment is going to be short for 1,800 days, which is, again, I think that's not great. We do need a lot of radio equipment. And we're slowly just trying to build up infrastructure. We don't need a West Banat. Get out of here. Okay. We got we got some better hard attack. Two ton truck, half track, armored car. Mechanized infantry. Well, you're mobile motorized. Mechanized Infantry Battalion. You know what? Let's research that. And you know what? Just cancel this. And we'll just wait until we the mo uh the mechanized. We'll use the mechanized infantry instead of the mo the motorized. Now that's probably going to be better in the long run. There are so many allied troops right now in uh in Turkey that it's insane. I know that's not a huge surprise, but still. So we got our signal companies being better. Uh, recon companies. Let's get them to improve as well. So Turk or Italy, are you planning on joining the Axis any time in the near future? I know you might not be a fan of a joining act right there. What the following must be true: Ile de France controlled. Be uh, so we have to own Ile de France. All the following must be true: after May first. Or all the following after, so I guess August first, if it's after, if it's the AI controls. Yeah, so more or less until Germany owns Paris, Italy is not going to not going to join the faction. Or I guess until after August 1st, whatever one comes first, I would imagine. But I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thanks for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed it, thumbs up. If you're not enjoying it, thumbs down. Make sure to subscribe and goodbye.